What's going on? We back. It's the Boxing Clinic and Morris, your boy CJ Goodfellow. Y'all know what it is. One time for the one time. Um, Gonna pick up the NFL talk. You know, a lot. You know, if you boycott the NFL, well, I don't care. It's just your opinion. That's your views. Um, I like it, you know. So I'm gonna continue to speak about it. Uh, speak on, excuse me. And uh, you know, I'm gonna start tapering off the boxing talk a little bit and uh, open it up for the NFL, NBA free agency talk, and stuff of that nature. Um, talking about the 49ers and Jimmy Guap. Jimmy Guap, you know, the quarterback that was traded from New England Patriots because Tom Brady uh, feared that he was going to take his spot. But um, it is what it is. And the 49ers, are the 49ers the real deal this season? Uh, I know they play the Raiders, the Giants. Um, they play my Detroit Lions. They play the Rams, the 49ers, the Cardinals, obviously. Um, you know, they got a solid schedule, man. But, um... I took notice of the Ram. I meant the 49ers last year. Excuse me. I took notice of them last year. Um, I'm an avid fantasy football daily player. I mean, FanDuel. It's really all I play for NFL. You know, so I'm paying attention and I watch certain games and play at 4 p.m. only or 4:25 only. You know, for my fantasy daily fantasy guys, they know that. And Garoppolo is uh, heavily involved in the 4 p.m. and 4:30 p.m. Uh, only uh, type of games and. Um, I watch him closely, man. He's a dog, man. You know, he's pre- he's precise. Um, you know, he made an offensive team that didn't do nothing all year. I mean, Carlos Hyde was look, look, looking lethargic. Marquise Goodwin was looking lethargic. You know, the defense was solid, but, you know, offense not doing nothing to make the defense look worse. And Guapolo came in. Old buddy got hurt, the original quarterback. He was terrible, though. He got hurt, and Guapolo, they just played. They was going to sit him the whole season, but they just wanted to see what they got before they paid him, man. I mean, dude was was a surgeon, man. He made Marquise Goodwin look relevant. And he ain't never he never was relevant. He made a couple deep deep pat, deep catches in, in Buffalo, but, um, you know, him and Goodwin got, got a hell of a chemistry, man. Hell of a chemistry. He got injured at the end of last year, but he got a hell of a chemistry, man. Got another young running back. I can't remember his name. Ball head, black guy. Um, you know, they let go Carlos Hyde and, you know, it was a rebuild, you know, well, it's not a rebuild, it's just retooling, you know, they got, you know, DeForest Buckner up front, you know, they didn't put so many, so many, uh, picks into that defense, even with Eric Reed leaving the kid, what is it, uh, Jimmy Ward that played a uh, safety in a, in a nickel. I mean, obviously they lost Pat Willis, Navarro Bowman, guys of that nature, but, um, you know, they reloaded with some young talent, especially the one guy that retired, that was a middle linebacker as well. Um, but I think the 49ers is going to be a dark horse team, man. I mean, really, they, you really probably can't consider them dark horse with everybody riding their coattails right now and Jimmy Garoppolo. But I, I think Jimmy Garoppolo is the real deal. I could be wrong. But I think Jimmy Garoppolo is absolutely the real deal. Um, even when he was with New England, you know, when he was winning all them games from New England, he got injured and Jacoby Brissett stepped in. He was another good backup quarterback from New England that did damn better, damn good job in, in Indianapolis, you know, Rather than have Scott Tozine bump himself in there, but um, I believe in Garoppolo, man. You know he did it in New England for a short period of time. He did it for five games, short period of time with, with the 49ers. and I think the 49ers probably. I, I think I think they're probably gonna win the NFC West. You know I'm not sold on the Rams, and I'm not saying that the Rams you know won't be good and will be great, but I think uh, teams are gonna look at that offense and make adjustments. They're gonna see what the Atlanta Falcons did and bring in Talib and. Um, and other guys to uh, to the defense, you know, and Dominic Sue, guys of that nature, where they did lose Robert Quinn, which he wasn't really what he was before he got paid, I don't think. Yeah, before he got paid. And I really, really, Agle, Alex Ogletree, the linebacker, middle linebacker from from Georgia. Um, so I'm really not sure about their linebackers. And then you put Tlaib on the defense and Sue, you know, you think it'll be good. But usually when you see teams throw all that all that money at, uh, at defense or at one side of the ball, both sides of the ball, the chemistry ain't built there. It, it, it just seems to never work, you know. And, and that's and, and I'm 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 just skeptical about that about the Rams. The Rams got a lot of talent. Todd Gurley, you know, Jerry Goff, they got rid of Sammy Watkins, which don't really matter. I like Cooper Cup. Um, you know, Robert Woods. He he another Buffalo receiver that went out west and blew up. You know what I'm saying? They got good pieces. You know what I'm saying? But it's stuff to be desired there. And I'm trying to tell you, the NFL is gonna catch up to the Sean McVay offense, and hopefully he's ready with counters. And, and, and adjustments to be made. He's a smart guy to be adjusted, but they're gonna look at what Jerry Goff does, good and bad. And it's gonna this is gonna be a 
This is going to be a make or break year for Jared Goff. You know, as funny as it sounds. It's going to be a make or break year. And I say that because teams are going to adjust to him, and he's going to have to make the adjustment on the fly. Each week, they're going to take away the throws that he do well and make him try to do the throws that he don't do as well. And that's the adjustment. Every every offseason, you see that. You know, you see Cam Newton didn't handle it pretty good coming off a career MVP type year. Certain quarterbacks and certain players, especially quarterbacks, don't really make the adjustment. Uh, I know people say, well, they're going to be able to see Jimmy uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. Um, yeah. Yeah, they'll be able, they seen Jimmy Garoppolo last year, and they're going to try to prepare and see what he don't do well. But my belief in Jimmy Garoppolo's overall ability, I believe more in his skill level than Jared Goff. Jared Goff was a product of that system. And every and you get marginalized when you're not marginalized when you're not in the right system. But I just think Jimmy Garoppolo's talent is gonna stand out. What he did with, you know, not a lot last year, just him and Marquise Goodwin and a couple of running backs out the backfield. You know, I, I believe in him and I believe in what the 49ers is gonna do. Now I'm not gonna make any concrete predictions here. You know, but I will say, you know, it is kind of crazy that Jimmy Garoppolo is a 21 favorite, had the best odds to win the MVP next year, and you know, it would be. It would be nice, and I, I don't have anything against New England. You know, I went to the Super Bowl where they lost to the Giants, and uh, they lost to the Giants in Indianapolis. But they fans were such crybabies and whiners, man. They were such bad, a bad company to be around for that Super Bowl, and it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't piss me off if Jimmy Garoppolo turned out to be the goods and and, and Bradley, you know, faded into the uh, faded into the black, and they franchise was messed up without a quarterback. I, I just wouldn't shed a tear, and I like Brady. I'm a Michigan guy. But I wouldn't shed a tear, you know, seriously. And um, I think the 49ers are going to have a good chance to win the NFC West. I think they are. I, I like the quarterback. Um, he uplifted everybody. They already, they already had some good defensive players over there. It was just the, the, the off The quarterback position was holding that team back, man. And I think the Jimmy Garoppolo, um, I think the Jimmy Garoppolo, you know, hype is, I don't think it's hype. I think it's for real, you know, and, uh, and you hear Jalen Ramsey um, you know, get mad because he got paid before he did, and you know most players don't feel like they, they didn't. He didn't earn it. At the end of the day, I mean, don't worry about what I'm doing. You know, if you play me, then you worry about preparing for me. You know, and saying, oh, a lot of stuff that he's doing was system stuff and not his talent. Well, that guy had never played in that system, in Kyle Shanahan's system. He he didn't get a chance to study the playbook. He was just going, you know, off a of, off a of field and just off a. Of, Natural instinct, you know. That's what Jalen Ramsey didn't say. He was going off a of field and off a of natural instinct, dog. He didn't. He didn't have. Uh, he didn't have a playbook, or he wasn't in that system for years. You know, what he did was him. You know, it, it was it was Jimmy Garoppolo that that made all them plays and, and made all and made all all that magic happen. That was him. With a team that had only won one game, I think. Yeah, that team only won one game because they went six and, and ten. One game before he got there. But you see how people don't tell you the, uh, how, how dudes be hating. They don't tell you the whole story, man. You know, uh, he didn't know that playbook. So how can he be in that system? How was the system? He was the system. You know, and next year, they, I mean, you know, for people waiting for, for teams to adjust to Jimmy Garoppolo, you better hold your breath to the year after next because ain't no adjustments to make. Everything that they showed last season and they offense with Jimmy Garoppolo, that was just on the fly. That was just basic stuff. You know, digestible uh, plays because he couldn't really get into the playbook. This offseason, he was able to get into the playbook. They was they able to have a whole training camp together, a whole mini camp, OTAs, a whole preseason together. They're going to be a problem in FC West, man. I, I like the Cardinals as well, but the rookie quarterback, Josh Rosen, not sure right now. Eventually, I think he'll be the best of the bunch that got drafted this year, possibly. Um, other than Lamar Jackson, I really liked him as well. But, uh, but Jimmy Garoppolo, yeah, I like I like the 49ers. And right now I kind of favor them to win the NFC West, you know, right now. But I'll make my predictions. But we're going to pick up the NFL talk for sure and NBA talk and other talk as well. But don't forget, you know, I'm starting a new college football and, and, and uh, basketball page called the uh, S12T and College Sports Most Wanted. The link is in the description. Me, the Cali Enigma, and Colossal Sports uh, uh, Talk. Uh, we, it's a joint venture. So if you want to, uh, you know, uh, you want to get down, if you're interested, even if you're not interested in college sports, just go ahead and subscribe, hit the link. Um, we're going to blow this thing up. We're going to do a whole college football town hall uh, hangout every once a week, and then we all going to drop videos individually. I know Cali's a Texas A&M guy. I'm a Michigan University guy and a, 
uh, Big Cool is a uh, Tennessee Vibes fan. We're going to talk about everything. And don't forget, we got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, links in the description for the Boston Clinic and more. If you want to donate, the link is there as well. Share, share, share the videos. Hit the, uh, the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you know when we go live and upload. Definitely appreciate all the brothers that's sharing the content. And, and, and I'm going back and forth on Twitter and Instagram. Y'all know what it is. We gone.